Hi everyone, I'm good at. No one told me how to do this, I'm sorry. It's like two buttons. Hi everyone, and good afternoon. I'm Eddie Weiss, and along with my partner, Kelly Sun, we're going to address why the need for change that the affirmative is offering is unnecessary. Our resolution states that right now it is, it is resolved that cheerleading should not be recognized as a varsity sport at Upper Dublin High School. As of right now, cheerleading is considered a varsity sport, but what makes a varsity sport varsity? At the end of the season your sport takes place in, you receive a varsity letter from the school acknowledging your participation in that sport. Kyle will get a letter from soccer, Ellie will get one from basketball, and it signifies that you participated on a sports team during its season. Cheerleading occurs during the fall season and the winter season, therefore if you are on the team from your freshman year until your senior, you can collect up to eight varsity letters. About.com tells me a few separate definitions of sport. They are a physical activity that is governed by a set of rules or customs and, in, and often engaged in competitively. A physical activity which involves propelling a mass through a space or overcoming the resistance of mass. A contest or competition with or against an opponent and governed by rules which explicitly define the time, space, and purpose of the contestant and the conditions under which a winner is declared. Issues that there are that people must understand are the aspects of athleticism, the primary purpose of cheering, and sideline cheering versus competitive cheering. The athletic aspect should be seen without a doubt, but for some reason people are still skeptical. Even if you're just sitting there in the bleachers, you can see these people doing flips and lifting each other up by one foot while putting their other foot straight up in the air. An athlete is defined as a person trained or gifted in exercises or contests involving physical agility, stamina, or strength. You would need the strength to lift a person, and if you're being lifted, you must have the balance and flexibility to stand on your friend's hands while and lift up your other leg. I remember seeing the last times I was at the football game or basketball and watching people do cartwheels merged into flips. I mean, come on, I'm an athlete, Kyle's an athlete, Ellie's an athlete, and I bet none of us could do that. It's physically impressive and requires a lot of practice and skill. At Upper Dublin High School, the primary purpose of cheerleading is neither sideline cheering or competitive cheering. They may sideline cheer more than they compete, but current varsity cheerleader Carly Bernstein informed me that they would rather compete than to sideline cheer because they enjoy the spirited competitions against other schools. Last year, our high school team took down multiple competitions throughout consecutive weekends in January and won most of them, thus leading to a trip to Disney World in February to compete nationally against the rest of the United States. They finished 8th in that tournament after beating 41 other schools in that competition. Our other sports teams can barely make it to the state competition, so finishing 8th nationally deserves a lot of respect. Sideline cheering is what we all see when we go to the football or basketball games. They still perform gymnastic skills, but are limited to the amount they can do due to the roughness of the track and the small space on the court. Yet, they are still able to lift each other up and do spins and twists while in midair while waiting for their friends to catch them. This is what we see at games. During competitions, they add an aspect called tumbling. To tumble is defined as to perform gymnastic feats of skill or agility as leaps or somersaults. In the competition, you have a total of 2 minutes and 30 seconds to perform a minute of cheering and a minute and 30 seconds of tumbling, pyramids, and stunts. Stunts are the lifting aspect. Earlier, I defined a sport as a physical activity that is governed by a set of rules or customs and often engaged in competitively. Does what I, not, does, does what I explained just not exactly follow those guidelines? Athletes would be angry if you took away the reward for participation and love for the sport. Changing cheerleading from a varsity sport would cause so much distress in our peaceful community and upset many students and community members. Thank you, and vote N-E-G-A-T-I-V-E. Negative. <laughs>